안녕하세요. Welcome back to another Talk to Me in Korean live class. So we have a slightly different setup in terms of the lighting. Let me see. So if you're watching this a little later after the live session is over, please um, look out for the first pinned comment down below, uh, below the video for all the necessary timestamps. So, okay, so uh, can you see my face a little bit better than yesterday? Should I turn on the lights over there? Yeah, 안녕하세요. Today I will be able to tweet this out. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, 반갑습니다. Let me just take care of a few things. Uh, first of all, I am going to tweet this out and I will also pull up another screen so that I can see your comments. Okay, hello everyone. I can see your comments on this screen. I'm going to... <laughs> I haven't used Twitter on this uh, device so long that Twitter has been deactivated. But uh, I, can, I can do it, I can manage. Um, all right, so I think it's fine like this. Can you see me? Full the pillow hair. All right, let me just do one thing. All right, um, let me also turn on that light. 안녕하세요. Please keep coming in. 들어오세요. I'm gonna go over here and turn on this light over here. What do you think? All right. Mm, I hope you can see me better. There's a little bit of a glare over there, but uh, one second. 잠시만요. 한번더 해볼게요. 이쪽으로 가서. 네, 이렇게. 네. 괜찮을까요? This is our, yeah, it, it reflects, but I'm sure you can still see. Um, it's okay without the light too? 한번 꺼봐주세요. Yeah. What do you think? 아니면 저거 한 번만 켜봐주세요. I'm asking 준배 씨 to adjust some things. I, I, think, I think we're good. 예, 좋은 거 같아요. 아니, 밝기 좀만 더. 올릴까요? 예, 조금만 더 밝게. 어, 네. Yeah. Okay, this is good. 좋아요, 좋아요. Think of this as the sun, okay? The sun rising above the island. <laughs> By the way, did you notice if you... Okay, this is good. If you watched yesterday's live stream, yesterday afternoon's live stream, the sun actually set while we were doing the live class because we started at 5 p.m. and it went past the sunset point 정말 그 해지는 시간 그 해가 음? 해가 지다 the sun sets so 해가 지는 시간 해가 지는 시간 the sunset time을 지나가니까 나중에 정말로 화면 속에 해가 졌어요 that was amazing 제주도 아잘 모르겠어요 어딘지 모르겠어요 I don't know where that island is is it? Dokdo? I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up because I didn't put it there. It was just, yeah, automatically um, there. So I, I didn't have a close look at it. I haven't been to Dokdo actually. I want to go, uh, but I heard it's really difficult to go because it really depends on the weather. So you have to travel to Ullungdo first, the closer island to the land. Um, and then you have to wait for the skies to clear up and you have to travel to Tokdo. And uh, many people around me have been there and they tell me it's amazing, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I mean the military doesn't stop people from coming. You, you can you know, easily uh, buy the tickets and go there. Now, Chris White, what are we learning today? We are learning various phrases that you can say about near and far, differences, um, different Phrases about distances. Ah, 노을. 노을 is the sunset. The glow of the sunset is 노을. So there are many things you can say about the sun setting. 해가 뜨다 is the sun rises. 해가 지다, the sun. Oops, I'm having trouble with the Korean English conversion here. Uh, sets. 다음에 일출 is the same as this one. 
and 일몰 is the same as 해가 지다. 일출 and 일몰 are more formal. Okay. What is 생활? 마요리? 생활 is life, but in terms of your daily life. So life, uh, we actually have a video on what uh, life can be translated into Korean. Um, so life means your daily life, your lifestyle. Okay. Uh, Megan, thanks for the super chat comment. This is not your first time. I think this is your third or fourth time. Thank you. Um, what does 선배님 mean and when and how to use it? So 선배 is the opposite of 후배. Okay, 선배, 후배. 선 means before, 후 means after. Okay, before and after, 선후. 선후. Okay, son and who are the opposite. So, um, sanbei is basically anyone who went to the same school before you, or so uh, people who went to my high school uh, at least one year before me. I call them sanbeinim. I can call them sanbeinim even if um, I don't, you know, meet a lot of people like that. Or um, people who are in the same industry can call other people sanbeinim. So if you're in broadcasting. Usually in broadcasting, um, you call other broadcasters, other people on TV, 선배님, 선배님. So idols always uh, say 선배님 to whoever is an older idol who debuted earlier than them, okay? And have I been to the military? Yes, I did my military service for two years and two months. That was quite an experience. Okay. Uh, 아직 아침인데 아직 아침이죠. It's still morning. 7:30 a.m. session has just started. Um, daylight savings time. I think that's what DST refers to. We don't have that. Yeah, yeah. We Korea is not that big to to need it. You know. So yeah, we don't have that. Sophie, Somi, she just ordered a few books from the store. I'm so excited to start studying with them. Ah, 감사합니다. Thank you for ordering our books. I hope you get them soon. What is 근처? 근처 is the vicinity, the area around you, okay? 네. 그리고 태양. How is 해 and 태양 different? So I am answering some general questions about this and that right now. It's Think of it as a warm-up session and I will get into today's topic very soon. Okay. All right. Um, he is um, a more everyday word and Taeyang is a more scientific word. That's it. Taeyang, the sun. Yeah, he and Taeyang. He got them die. Taeyang is more poetic, more scientific. Okay. Uh, Maria. Uh, 선현우 선생님, 어제 KD를 보면서 이 문장 들었는데요. 서울은 하늘이 완전 높아요. 아, 하늘이 높다. 음, 하늘이 높다. The sky is high <웃음> or up there. Um, it's, it's, yeah, I think it can be translated into the soul sky is beautiful. So that was the translation in the subtitle in the drama. So yeah, it's one possible translation because by saying the sky is high, you know, the sky isn't, doesn't, doesn't have a height. It's just unlimited. It's connected indefinitely to the outer space. So it, it would make no sense to say that the sky is high, low, but it means that there's nothing blocking like the visibility is good, so it can be yeah, translated to the sky is beautiful, the clear sky. The sky is clear, I think that, that's also possible. Um, yeah, okay. How to say I don't care? In Korean, um, in 반말, casual language, uh, 상관없어. 나는, 난 신경 안 써. 상관없어. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. 신경 쓰다. 신경 is your nerve. You know, nerves. You don't use your nerves to even think about it. 신경 안 써. Okay. And what is the difference between 나 and 내? 나 is I, me, the 
standard form and uh, ui is eyes or my and this becomes ne but this is not really commonly used na na ai ne me uh, my but ne is also used before ka the subject marker ka so when you want to say I did something, I will do something in Panmal, you have to say ne ka. So it's just a pronunciation change. Okay. Uh -huh. Can you please say chamkan man? Uh, you find it hard to hear the first miyum. Uh -huh. Good question. Okay, this is the last question question that I will answer for now and I will come back to your questions a little later. So let's hear it. Yeah. Together. Tam kan man. Tam kan man. Tam kan man. Tam kan man. But because tam is followed by ka, tam kan man, it kind of becomes like, where's the cursor? Tam kan, tam kan man. You can pronounce it like that. Changkamman, 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 changkamman. Can you say that yourself? I can hear you. Yeah, changkamman, changkamman. All right. So that's how you mo most uh, naturally pronounce it. Okay. Um, sorry to go off topic, but are you still be boying? Uh, I'm not actively be boying, but I can still do everything I used to do, and I sometimes do, and um, yeah. I still enjoy it. Tankaman. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I have to answer this one last question. Sang te sang huang sa te sa jong. So, um, sang te, these are seemingly similar words. Um, sang te, sang te is the status, the status of something, the state of things. Sang huang is situation so you talk about the patient's status 환자 상태가 어때요 the doctor can ask the nurse the nurse can ask the doctor the patient's family can ask the doctors 환자 상태 상태 상황 is situation situation 사태 is a serious thing that happened 사태 비상 사태 an emergency 비상 상황 also works in a serious situation. Sate is something that happened but always negative. Sajong is somebody's um, circumstances or situation. Usually it's it's accompanied by an explanation. Sajong이 있어요. Um, I have something that came up. Sajong. So um, Sajong이 있어요. I have something that came up. So by saying this, you're not revealing what actually happened, but you are saying that, oh, something happened. There's a circumstance that will prevent me from buying you dinner today. Okay? All right. Perfect. So uh, let's go into today's topic. Today's topic is um, distances or distance. Kori. Kori. Um, if something... <laughs> You're just joining and you see the new background. Yes, we, uh, we've always had this screen um, for quite a while, um, but we weren't able to use it because there were some problems with the uh, cable setup and stuff like that. It's connected to my MacBook. And uh, yeah, so there were some technical issues, but we solved the issues. So yeah, happy April Fools. 네, 만우절. Um, in general, we don't say happy so-and-so that often, so we, we can't really say happy April Fools, but yeah, there's nothing we say about like celebrating Manuja. Um, but still, today is Manuja. Okay, Kori. Let's talk about Kori. Kori has several meanings. It can mean distance, it can mean street. Um, yeah, Kori. I think those two meanings are the only ones that I can think of. Um, so street is kori or kilkori. Just kori is fine too. Um, 거리를 걷다. 거리에 사람이 많아요. To walk the streets, 
There are many people in the streets. 거리에 사람이 많아요. But in this case, um, 먼 거리. We're talking about 먼 거리, 가까운 거리, 짧은 거리. So short distance, close distance, far distance, 먼 거리. Okay? We're talking about that. Mm. No sound? 소리 안 들려요? You can you can hear me. 안 들려요? Yeah. All right. Sound works. Cuz it sometimes happens. Sometimes I am muted for I don't know 20 seconds for no reason. Just <laughs> it happens. Okay, so 거리 so let's talk about the basic stuff and we will go on to some more advanced stuff, okay? 가깝다 is to be close, okay? For beginner learners, I will give more examples and more conjugation um, forms. 가까워요. Yeah, it's close. If you are able to write things down, Please do, because I've seen so many people taking notes and sharing them on Instagram. Please tag us at TTMIK. My, I'm using another keyboard here, and I'm pressing this 한영 전환 button, Korean English switch button, and it's lagging. So TTMIK, or tag me as well at Ever41, that's my personal handle. Um, I will be able to look at your progress and study notes. Okay, so 가까워요, 가까워요. 진짜 가까워요. Um, I will only write English in absolutely necessary um, places, okay? 진짜 가까워요. 가까운 사이. 가까운 사이. 사이 means a relationship. So 가까운 사이 means a close relationship. You and another person are close, okay? 가까운 사이. Okay, so uh, the conjugations 가깝다, 가까워요. Present tense, it's close. 가까웠어요, it was close. 가까운 is the adjective form. And 가까이 is closely. 가까이, 가까이. So 가까이 오세요. Come closer. Come close. 더, 더 가까이 오세요. Come closer. Okay, I'm figuring it out. Um, Korean to English, super quick. The keyboard, English to Korean, a little lagging. Okay. All right, 가까이. Now, let's go to 멀다. 멀다. To be far. Um, you can say 멀어요. In the present tense, 멀었어요. It was far. 멀, uh, 먼. It's the adjective. Far place, far away place, so far away so-and-so, and 멀리, far away, adjective, uh, adverb, okay? Any questions so far? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's so interesting how many people comment on my typing because I think my typing speed is fairly normal and everybody's saying, you type so fast and um, Literally, like, five people messaged me yesterday uh, personally. I was doing some exercise in my Instagram story, and they were like, oh, this is how you become a fast typist. <laughs> so it's, I think it's interesting that people think it's interesting. Okay, so, 멀리 가까워요, 멀어요. 네. Um, 집이 멀어요. My house is far away. 사무실에서 집까지 um, 멀어요 or 집이 사무실에서 멀어요 these are the basic phrases that you can say uh, if you say that you live far away from your workplace you can also say uh, 사무실에서 집까지 거리가 좀 돼요 this is an advanced phrase that I want to teach you 거리가 좀 되다 please repeat after me 거리가 좀 되다 되다 means to become, okay? But when you say 좀 되다, um, it means it 
has been a while, or it is um, a fairly uh, large amount. Okay, so let's say uh, I found this bag of cash. Let's let's just have this imagination. You found a bag of cash, bag full of cash, on the bench at a park, and you open it, and it's just full of money and then the amount of money in Korean is exu 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 okay please repeat after me exu the amount of money exu and you can say <laughs> free money of course yeah um, exu ga jom dueyo yeah it's quite a bit when you want to say it. it's quite a bit so jom is little bit but when you combine jom and dueda it becomes a little bit it becomes uh, you know, it goes up to a certain degree, certain extent. Yeah. So that's what you can say. Um, the amount of the money that I found or that I received is quite a bit. So, 거리가 좀 돼요. Um, 거리가 좀 돼요. You cannot literally translate it and think that it's, you know, it becomes quite a bit of distance or quite a little bit of distance it means that it's quite far okay is exu only used with money yes it's uh, only used with money exu ek is actually um so ek is what you use for the amount of money the total sum of money and su is also number so um when you say um 총액, 총액 is total sum of money. So when you calculate the sales, the calculate the cost, the expenses, so you um, add things up, 총액 is the total sum of something. All right. Perfect. So 거리가 좀 돼요. 꽤, 꽤 is also commonly used with 멀어요 or 가까워요. 꽤 is quite. Quite pretty. Um, so, 꽤 멀어요. It's quite far. 꽤 가까워요. Yeah. Oh, to walk is 걷다. 걷다. But it's irregular. It's conjugated to 걸어요. 걸어요. 걸었어요 is the past tense. So, please read it out loud with me. 걷다 is the dictionary form. 걸어요. I walk. 걸었어요. I walked. There's another form that Lien actually mentioned is 걸어가다. 걸어가다 is a con uh, combination of 걷다 plus 가다. So it became um, 걸어서 가다. You go somewhere by walking. 걸어서 가다. Okay? Um, so yeah, 걸어가다. Now they are, they have become one word. So that's... Uh, a new word for some people. 걸어가다, yes. Uh, I saw a comment about... Um, so, oh, yeah, if you buy our books, all the audio files are available at this address, talktomeinkorean.com slash audio. Even if you don't buy our books, you can still go to this link. I wish you could click on it to go there, but you can't. Just go to talktomeinkorean.com slash audio and you can download all the files that are necessary to study with uh, the book. Yes. All right. So, and I, I believe this is written on the back cover of the book or inside the book somewhere. Okay. What is coronavirus in Korean? It's the same thing. Coronavirus or Corona Um We are not using the word COVID-19. I mean, you see it, but people don't say copy do or something like that. They, they just say Corona Ilgu. Okay. All right. Um, and in one of our previous live sessions, we go over some COVID-19 related vocabulary. So yeah, please watch that one as well to recap. And all right. So I will talk more about distance related expressions and then answer some of your questions a little later. By the way, um, for those of you who are joining um, for the first time in a while, 
Today is the last day of the scheduled live classes, but we will do something, uh, what we can do to continue with the live classes because you guys really, really enjoy studying with these live classes and you also come back regularly to watch the recorded versions. So, you know, some people can only catch the recorded videos. So we will continue producing more content for Korean learners who are staying at home. But yeah, Megan, Thanks for joining. See you next time. <laughs> All right, perfect. So let's talk about more expressions. If there are expressions that you want to know in terms of distances that uh, you want to be able to say in Korean, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Shortcut. Um, two ways. If, if you're talking about literal shortcuts, like that you can take by walking, or by, you know, when you're going somewhere, it's 지름길. And when you're talking about keyboard shortcuts, shortcut is uh, 단축키. Yeah, I think these are actually related to um, distances. 지름길. Um, 지르다. 가로지르다. 질러가다. I think I want to introduce these four expressions as well. Please pay close attention. These are very good expressions that you need to know if you want to become fluent, advanced. So, 지름길, 지름길. Are you reading things out loud? Yeah, 지름길. Please let me know. Are you reading it out loud with me? I want to know. Okay, 지름길. And uh, yeah, perfect. 지름길. 지르다. 지르다 is doing this. Going through, imagine you punching through the air. Okay? And if you've done Taekwondo, 주먹 지르기 is punching. Uh, 지르기. 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 So you are actually cutting air with your super fast punch. Super fast fist. Right? 지르다. You can also say 소리 지르다. You shout or scream 소리를 질러요. 질러요. So these are all connected. At first glance, they don't seem connected, but they're all connected. So 지르다 basically make it means to launch something from here to the other side. So I'm going to demonstrate the 지르다 motion Shh, like that. 지르다 질러요. 소리 질러요, you are making your voice go all the way over there. Okay? Yeah, 소리 질러, idols always say that. Yeah, scream, make some noise, right? Um, 주먹 지르기 is you are doing that with your fist. 주먹 지르기. Kind of like that. There's like some area and you're going through it with a shortcut. 지름, 길. Yeah, 길 is... Uh, path, way, road. Okay, so 지름길, 지름길. And then, yeah, 지르다. 지르다 is also uh, used when you um, buy something on an impulse. 충동구매. 음, even if you not, even if you don't buy anything on an impulse, for example, um, if uh, yeah, or, or. Uh, go ahead and just um, courage buy. You know, when people talk about hoarding these days, you know, there's um, pa uh, panic buying, but 지르다 can also refer to courage buying. Like, my future self will take care of my credit card payment. I'll just buy it today. I'll just buy another computer today. I'll just buy another car today. And that's 지르다. 질렀어요. Yeah. Yeah, 질렀어요. Okay, do you uh, understand everything? So that's how the word 지름길 is formed. Okay. <laughs> that's you at Target. And there's also uh, another word. I, I have so many words I want to introduce because of 지름길. Good question, by the way. So 지르다. You understand the, the concept, right? 지르다 is to make something go from here to there, 
through a certain kind of space and uh, 주먹 지르기 is punching, 소리 지르기 is like shouting, screaming, making some noise at a concert 지르다 about an item uh, like um, if you say 카메라 하나 질렀어요 by the way, this is very colloquial, almost slangy. You can't say this in a news interview, but people say it all the time. And 질렀어 is like, I just courage bought something. I, I don't know how I'll pay for it, but I bought it. And uh, 지름 is the act of doing that. So because of this, people also created this really fun word, 지름신. 지름신. 지름신 is the god of courage buying, like just a fun word that people uh, made. 지름신. 지름신이 왔어요. 지름신. Yeah. Yeah. Target에서 질렀어요. You can say that. Yeah. Um, I hope people will be um, expecting you to say something fluent like that. Um, otherwise, they will ask you, like, 소리 질렀어요? or something like that okay alright so that's 지름길 and keyboard shortcut this is a little bit more straightforward um, 단축키 단축 is shortening 단축 so 단축키 is shortened key so Riley 저 오늘 컴퓨터를 지를 뻔했어요 진짜로 you almost bought a, <laughs> bought a computer on a, on a whim yeah or something that you shouldn't buy Okay, perfect. So that is that. And here's, here are some very fun, very useful phrases that you can say about something that's quite clo close, okay? Uh, this is an exaggeration. Okay, do you know the meaning? 엎어지면 코 닿을 곳에 엎어지면 코 닿을 곳에 곳 is place, spot 에 is a location marker so in a spot that 닿다 or 코, 코 is your nose okay, 코 so 엎어지다 is to fall down fall down so in a place listen carefully in a place where Something is at a place where if you fell, your nose would touch it. So it's basically like literally right there. 바로 앞에. So 바로 앞에. Or 아주. Isn't it a fun expression? It is a very common expression. It's kind of like a saying, a proverb, an idiom. 엎어지면 코 닿을 곳에. For example, 엎어지면 코 닿을 곳에 살아요. So this might, right in front of you, yeah, this might sound a little bit old in certain contexts, but you will say it, you will see it here and there. Um, you know, I always say, 아는 만큼 I always say this to language learners, you can only see, you can only recognize, you can only hear as much as you know. You might have been hearing this phrase all along in song lyrics and TV shows, but now you will start seeing it everywhere. Maybe not everywhere, but like in many places. 엎어지면 코 닿을 곳에 살아요. I live literally just around the corner. Okay? So that's one good expression. And... Uh, Okay, I will also take a look at the comments here. I'm seeing all the comments in real time here, but my iPad is showing them a little bit late, all right. Uh, okay, so here's another one that I want to introduce before I go back to some of your questions. All right, so, um, 조금만 더 가면 돼요. 조금만 더 가면 돼요. Please repeat after me. 조금만, 조금만, 조금만. 더 is more. 조금만 더, a little bit more. 가면, if you go, if you go, 가면, 돼요. It's fine. It's done. 조금만 더 가면 돼요. You just need to just go a little bit further. You only need to go a little further. We only need to go a little further or farther. 조금만 더 가면 돼요. 
다 왔어요. You can easily picture two people going on a trekking, trekking trip on a mountain. They're, you know, in the mountains and like one person is tired, the other person is not. And you can say, oh, 다 왔어요. We're almost there. 다 왔어요. Or 거의 다 왔어요. 조금만 더 가면 돼요. I used to track so many mountains with my parents and my grandma when I was a kid, when I was in like elementary school, 10 years old, 11 years old. And they would say this to me all the time. Of course, in 반말, 다 왔어. 조금만 더 가면 돼. 다 왔어. 조금만 더 가면 돼. Just a little more and it would be another hour or two hours. But eventually, at the peak of the mountain, um, I would feel very happy about the achievement. What does 다을 mean in this case? 엎어지면 코 다을 곳에. Um, so, when you change a verb into an adjective, there are several things you can do. Uh, 는 or 은 or 을. This is usually the present tense conjugation for adjective, past, past tense, future tense. So, um, 다을, uh, 다, 다는 is that will reach, 다은, that reached, 다을, that, okay, sorry, that reaches, this is the present tense, that will reach. Another one, um, 사, 사다 is to buy. 사는 that I buy, 산 that I bought, 살 that I will buy. We have a book that introduces this kind of information, which is called the Korean Verbs Guide. It's available on our store, talk to me in Korean.com slash store. Yeah, I hope the, the link is correct. All right. Today is April Fool's Day. How to say that in Korean? Uh, 만우절. I typed it earlier, but I'm happy to type it again for you. Uh, all right. Okay, so some questions. What is 꽤? 꽤? Where was it? I put the translation next to it. 꽤? Let's go. 꽤? Oh, I lost it. 꽤 is quite. 꽤? It's quite expensive. 꽤 좋아요. It's quite good. 꽤 무거워요. It's quite heavy. 꽤 빨라요. It's quite fast. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops. 가까운. Um, 가까운 is close as an adjective. And 깎아주세요. I think they sound similar, but they're completely unrelated. 깎아주세요 is please give me a discount. 깎다 is to cut. Okay. Uh, what's the difference between 관계 and 사이? Keep your questions coming, but please um, remember that I won't be able to answer everything. By the way, I have a video, detailed video explaining what map means. Map. So please type map in the search bar of our YouTube channel and you will see it. So what's the difference between 관계 and 사이? 관계 is more formal, it's relationship, 사이 is relationship. This is a little bit um, broader because 사이 can also mean the, the gap between this thing and this thing or that thing or that person and this person, 사이. So when you say the you know, when you say mind the gap between the platform and the train, that's 사이, never 관계, but 관계 is just purely Relation or relationship. Sai is relationship, how things are between two people, and a gap between two things or two people. Okay. Um, <laughs> nukta, this is a fun comment. Uh, nukta, if I write nukta with the English keyboard, it's. Uh, let me type it. Where is it? Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> nukta. Okay, let me type, um, talk to me in Korean with the Korean keyboard. Um, 
which makes no sense, unfortunately. <laughs> the chat is too fast. Uh, what's the difference between takada and takada hususna? I think you're writing two, two words that are the same. Do you have a space in between? Um, can you rephrase it? I can't, I can't see it because the line is broken after chak. All right. Mm -hmm. Sophie, she, um, the pronunciation of jiut in majayo is confu confusing me a little bit. I heard some uh, where it sounds more like J and ones where it sounds like Z. Is there a right way? Uh, yeah. Um, ma cha yo, cha, ma cha yo. It's the pronunciation. Ma cha yo, ma cha, cha, cha. I think I'm doing the most standard pronunciation right now. Ma cha, cha. So it never sounds like J, J, J. The English pronunciation, J, or the French, J. Um, it's always cha, cha. Ma cha yo, ma cha yo, ma cha yo. Of course, it depends on the person. What's the significance of 지 말다, um, uh, 지 마세요, don't do something. Um, it's us usually used with uh, these endings. 하지 마세요, don't do it. 하지 말고, do this. Don't do that and do this. So, so usually used in these two forms. Okay. Um, what is 인지? Um, 인지 or 인지, it's uh, whether or not. Uh, 지금 or uh, what so, so when so like um, 지금 몇 시인지 모르겠어요 I don't know what time it is okay uh, 아니면 오늘 월요일인지 물어보세요 ask someone whether it is Monday today okay uh, how can we use 나는 and 난? Uh, 나는 and 난 are exactly the same. You just pronounce it 나는 quickly and it becomes 난 and it means I am or as for me. Okay. Um, Ari Pimeles, um, when can 고 be dropped from quoting forms? 고? Can you give me a little more context? 고. Uh, uh, maybe like this. Uh, 그렇게 한다고 했어요. They said that they would do it like that. 그렇게 한다 했어요. This also works in many areas of Korea. 한다 했어요. 그렇게 한다 했어요. Yeah. In this case, you can drop it. It's accepted. How does the particle 게 work? Okay, good question. 게 usually turns turns a descriptive verb into a, an adverb. So, uh, 이렇다 is to be like this. 이렇게 이렇게 is like this as an adverb. Okay? Um, 크다 to be big. Okay? 크게 in a big way. In a big scale. 크게, 크게. 빠르다 빠르게, of course, it's sim similar to 빨리. 빠르게 and 빨리 are slightly different. They have the slightly different usages, but 게, the general idea is that if you put 게, you can guess the adverb form of uh, a descriptive verb. Okay, um, favorite. How do you say favorite in Korean? Um, keep your questions coming, everyone. This is going to be a live Q&A for now because um, I already introduced some phrases related to distances like far and near that I wanted to introduce like um, earlier. This one, 조금만 더 가면 돼요, okay? And, uh, 엎어지면 <laughs> 코 닿을 곳에 살아요, etc. Uh, 지름길 was a good one. All right, um, what was the question again? I, I lost it. <laughs> I, when I was explaining the I was recapping the, um, wh where was it? Let me know. Uh, I, I never do this. I'm not Kyungan, but why, why did I lose it? I lost the chain of thought. Okay. 
Uh, the difference between sa and sa. If you have trouble differentiating between double consonant sounds and um, a favorite, yes, you have a good memory. Um, and single consonant sound, make the double consonant sound a little more high pitched. Sa, sa, a little more uh, forceful. Sa and sa. Um, yeah, uh, I'm half joking about Kyungan, but uh, I'm also not. She's very famous for being forgetful. You might have uh, heard our conversation um, on the Talk to Me in 100% Korean channel. Yay, time to plug our new YouTube channel. <laughs> Get us to 10,000 subscribers over there quickly, please. So um, we have a new channel where we only post things in Korean, Korean conversations. And actually next week, she will be doing one session a week where she does live chats like this one, only in Korean. You already subscribed. Yay, thank you. So um, and she's actually a little bit worried that she'll be digressing too much because she's famous for being forgetful. She'll be talking about this thing and then this conversation will go off track and then it'll land here and then it'll never go back to this topic. So you guys, if you're gonna watch that, 혹시 다음 주에 경원 선생님이 하는 한국어 라이브 챗 보실 거면, 보시게 되면, if you get to watch it, always keep her in check, okay? Like, Kyungan, we were, we were talking about this topic. 꼭 알려주세요. <laughs> 어, 그 얘기 이제 충분해요. 원래 원래 주제로 돌아가 주세요. Go back to the original topic. 원래 주제로 돌아가 주세요. 선생님, like that. I'll give you the line. 선생님, 이제 원래 주제로 돌아가 주세요. <웃음> yeah. All right. What's scary? Only in Korean. Ah, okay. Forgetful. So and so is forgetful. Is 건망증이 심하다. 건망증. 건망증. It is forgetfulness. 건망증. Mm, the words 건망, the, the, the letters 건망 um, are not used outside of this word 건망증. Just remember it as forgetfulness. And 증 is usually uh, the letter that you find at the end of many like Disease names, illness names, uh, uh, symptoms like 건망증. 증 actually means symptom. So 건망증, you tend, you have the tendency to forget things. 심하다 is to be severe. 건망증이 심하, 심하다. 저는 건망증이 심해요. Uh, or 저는 자꾸, 자꾸 깜빡, 깜빡 해요. I keep forgetting things. 깜빡 is a word that uh, describes how someone forgets kampak because kampak means to blink kampak so the turn signal indicator is kampagi in korean on a car like in a korean in in, a, in any car the turn signal is kampagi of course bangyang jishi deung there's a more formal term for it bangyang jishi deung bangyang is direction Chishi is indicate, tung, light, direction indicating light. But people just say, kampagi, kampagi. Uh, so when, here's a fun expression. When you're driving and someone cuts in line, or cuts in front of you without turning the tur uh, turn signal, you say, kampagido an kyogo turo one. Like this is your exclamation, so you're you're ending it with 네, 깜빡이도 안 켜고, not even turning on the turn signal. 깜빡이도 안 켜고 들어오네. And you say this about someone um, in a conversation, abruptly asking a very direct, straightforward question. Like, so in that case, um, you might have actually heard this line in many many Korean movies and dramas. 깜빡이 좀 켜고 들어와. 아, 켜, 켜도, 켜고. 깜빡이 좀 켜고 들어와. So, um, 
give me a warning before you say something like that is the meaning. So, kampagi. But uh, all connected. I have a question. Hey, hey, Billy, what are you doing here? This is not your channel. Um, are you lost? <laughs> I think Billy is lost. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoy um, reporting. <laughs> this kind of information, gathering, collecting, and presenting. Um, this is how I learn personally when I learn a new language. And um, I think this is how learners can collect a lot of data, a lot of <laughs> information in a very efficient format. Yeah, I didn't forget. I'm not Kyungun, I told you. Yeah, it's quite simple. Yeah, yeah, 제일 좋아하는. Um, 제가 제일 좋아하는 아이스크림은 녹차 아이스크림이에요. 제가 제일 좋아하는. So this is my favorite. 제가 제일 좋아하는 유튜브 채널은 고빌리 코리안이에요. 일까요? <laughs> you changed the ending. 제가 제일 좋아하는 유튜브 채널은 고빌리 코리안. Is it? Will it be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 제가 제일 좋아하는 유튜브 채널은 고빌리 코리안이 절대 아니에요. It's absolutely not Go Billy Korean. 제가 제일 좋아하는 유튜브 채널은 Go Billy Korean 일리가 없어요. It can't be Go Billy Korean. Uh, 제가 제일 좋아하는 유튜브 채널은 Go Billion이라고 빌리가 말하지만 거짓말이에요. Um, my favorite YouTube channel is Go Billy, Go Billy Korean. Says Billy, but it's a lie. Um, yeah. You can always change the ending. So, 한국말은 끝까지 들어봐야 돼요. You have to listen to the end. Listen for the end of Korean sentences because you can just change the entire sentence's meaning by changing the structure. I mean, all, all the jokes outside, my favorite YouTube channel is actually um, Talk To Me In Korean. Uh, okay, so any other questions about distances? Any Anything you want to say? <laughs> All right. Okay. Billy, yeah. Chris White, thank you for the super chat comment. You're very generous, thank you. Um, all right, I'm, I'm reading through comments. Um, trying to see what uh, I think there's a little lag here on my um, <laughs> savage savage in Korean uh, I'll actually think about it we don't we don't say savage in the same sense um, yeah so I'll, I'll think about it and get back to you um, okay Cl when you're close okay close to someone. 네. 저는 빌리랑 친해요. I am close to Billy. Um, Billy and I are close. If you say that, Billy and I are close, um, you can say 친해요. You can't say 가까워, 가까워요. Mm. 가까워요 is like I'm literally close in distance, but 가까운 사이에요 works. Um, we are on close terms. Who is this Billy? Um, it's just my imaginary friend um, who also has an imaginary YouTube channel. Um, I know. He's from Go Billy Korean. Um, check out his channel. And he has a lot of great lessons on Korean. And his Korean is really good. 어제 어제 인스타그램에서 빌리랑 어 빌리 씨랑 저랑 라이브 한거 보셨어요? Yeah. We'll do it more often. 네. 
같이 방송 더 해볼게요. Yeah. So yeah, you can say that you are close to someone like this. Um, 한국어 슬랭 더 가르쳐 줄수 있나요? 어, 슬랭은 아 슬랭 그냥 슬랭이라고 하면 돼요. 속어, 네 yeah, 슬랭 둘다 괜찮아요. 다른 비디오에서 더 소개하도록 하겠습니다. We have some videos on Korean slang expressions on our channel. Type in slang or buzzwords um, in the search bar of our of our channel, and you will see it. And today, let's call it a class. Today is ex exciting, not just because it's April Fools, but also because we have a new employee coming in um, to work for the first time. And um, I think it'll be a few more months uh, before we can introduce him to you guys, but he'll be an exciting new addition um, to the team. So it's not Billy. Yeah, he had his chance. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Billy 씨는 아니에요. 제가 기회를 줬는데, 네 기회를 <웃음> 놓쳤어요. <웃음> uh, what's my name? Uh, my name is Hyunwoo, and uh, yeah, Savage could work for Savage. Uh, I mean, Pekpok Pekpok could work for Savage. Yeah, read everyone. Read Billy's comment. 그럼. Uh, 저는 다음 시간에 또 돌아올게요. 오늘 오후 3시, 오늘 오후 3시에 수업 어, 할 거고요. 다음 수업이 마지막 수업인데 어, 다음 수업도 곧 준비해서 다시 시작하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 만나요.